we first set out to redesign the crown, it was important for us to really capture uh, the spirit of Royals baseball. Um, the crown has always been that iconic piece that our fans have identified with. So we reached out to really, you know, who we felt was probably going to take a great deal of pride. We went with a local company, uh, the Zaner Company, who has done some fabulous work all across the country, all across the world uh, with metal products. When we created the crown, we were involved with uh, creating a digital solid model of the piece. And he has some images behind me here on the board of the general geometry, but we do it on computer. So everything is laid out to the very precise increment. The material we're putting on there right now is a gold interference coated stainless steel. It has its own life. So as you walk around it, it changes. To me, that adds a whole artistic level that I don't think we've ever seen out at a baseball stadium. I would say about 20 people involved, maybe a little more than that, uh, on the process of fabricate, engineering, fabricating the piece, and installing the piece. And uh, we involved another local company, Mark One, to do the electrical that creates the lights on top of the balls. And that was kind of amazing uh, uh, activity itself, trying to incorporate all that into these, these balls on the top of the crown. This crown is much more three-dimensional than the old crown. Um, it has scalloped edges that are built into the radius of it, which, again, because of the material we use to clad this, um, it takes on different lights and, and it becomes three-dimensional. It doesn't look like a flat piece of metal. There's nothing that can deteriorate on that metal that's going to lose its ability to have the color. Now, at nighttime, it's not going to look as gold because it doesn't have the sun on it. So it's very sensitive to the light, the ambient light around it. So as far as degradation of that, it's, well, the day it goes up is the, how it's going to look 20, 30, 40 years from now. I think it was really missed uh, in the 2008 season. You know, we brought on a beautiful new scoreboard. It was the you know, largest video board in the world. And um, there was something missing on top. And again, we wanted it to be more of a, a sculpture, a piece of art. Um, you know, the stadium, as our fans know, approaching it today looks much different than it did before. There's a lot of metal panels, there's a lot of glass, and it's a very, very modern looking stadium. And, you know, we felt the crown really should take on that same symbolic look. Now, people may not even know who built it, but uh, we'll know. In fact, we, you know, we're, we've been thinking about sitting in our seats that we have and looking at that every day, we want to make sure it looks absolutely perfect. It is different, it, it is unique, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, our fans have an appreciation for that, that iconic piece or that piece of artwork that we try to put back up on top.